All right, guys. Went to go pick up some breakfast real quick. As usual, late start. I'm gonna go out there. This is Lower Lake Steak. It's about 20 mile per hour winds right now. About one to two foot rollers. Some white caps here and there, but nothing I can't handle. Nothing the 120 PDL can't handle, but uh, you know, be careful out there. Anything can happen, bring your life jacket. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's start off with Mr. Jig. Start off dragging this jig over some fish. We're gonna drag this jig in 56 feet of water. Let's see how that does. Okay, we're gonna throw this. Alabama rig. Looks like I took one off. Let's see if it swings right. Eh, looks like I'll swing right. Oh, he's still on. There we go, guys. Oh, I've got one on. There we go. Oh! Get in the net. Get in the net. Yeah! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Got one on the Alabama rig. That was quick. That was just sinking. Nice, came off clean. More than I can ask. First Alabama rig fish, guys. Look at that. That's a nice, solid fish. Took that right there. I got lucky, it just came off. Damn. Let me see if I have the scale. All right, scale working. Let's see, let's get a weight on this guy. Yeah, that was just on the fall, guys. Nice fish. Two. 0.79 let's go yeah buddy <laughs> all right guys so i took a couple casts with the jig it was just too windy out there so i go in this cove that fish just ate it on the fall he was up shallow so we'll see if we can get him to bite more they weren't on a big drop. Like during the winter time, they're on that slow sloping points and ditches. So I'm just gonna continue to work shallow, see if I can get them to bite. But I wasn't even working the Alabama rig that time. thicker one guys our temperature is 53 you guys and the way these bass are positioned are positioned nose up towards the current these windblown docks windblown banks that's the ticket this guy ate it on the fall right underneath that dock this is a healthy healthy three pounder solid four maybe during pre-spawn let's get a weight on this guy healthy bass like i'm gonna have content for you guys three three nine three thirty nine guys three thirty five three thirty seven 
We'll call him 337. All right. Cool. What a chunky, healthy bass. Damn. Broad freaking stomach. Eating really good. Anything? Yeah, let's go with it. Oh. Let's release this puppy right here. Thank you. They're up shallow, guys. I don't know if they're up deep, but this is what I'm throwing. I'm missing one of these jig heads, and I got lazy, so I just clipped on these Kitex. And then so I got two jig heads, two hooks, and a bunch of blades. It's the Yum Junior. Uh, link in the description. Well, we're just gonna keep on working this bank. Do this rotation. I'm glad it's somewhat out of the wind. But yeah, you can't beat Alabama rig bite during the winter time. I mean, we're like a few weeks, less than two weeks Christmas and we're getting bit on the Alabama rig. That's awesome. And I'm on, I'm on the only one on the water right now. Can you believe that guys? You can't beat that. Winter time fishing. Just gonna make our way around the corner and try to find something a little less of a drop. Oh, there we go. Another one. Looks like a small one. Well, we can toss in the boat. Come on, get in the boat. These fish are biting. All right. Alabama rig. They're so keen on the size of these bait fish are about this size to by 3.2 to 4 inches. That's what they've been biting on. Let's just get quick weight on this guy. 0.98, let's call it. Oh no, these fish are chunky. 1.41 guys, 1.41, nice little bass. So that fish hit it on the retrieve. We're fishing this little ditch again. Little creek channel, ditch. Work that slow tapering point down. And then just every once in a while, just rip with your reel. But yeah, like I, as soon as I got around the corner, got bit. These fish like those small little changes. They don't like huge changes. Throwing this Alabama rig on a 6.4 to one gear ratio rod. Uh, just posted on Instagram on a Veritellas uh, 711 heavy moderate action and this combo right here is I think less than $110 so you don't need expensive gear to catch fish for sure uh, backing line casting 50 pound braid to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader about a 10 foot leader 10 foot or less quite windy so I don't know if you guys can pick up the audio really well but I'll make it quick so within the within an hour or less I caught a three three and a half two and a half and a one and a half so what is that uh, six seven and a half pounds for three that's great. I mean, in less than an hour. Um, and then we're gonna, gonna start from the beach side over there, the second beach on the other round of the corner, because I know there's rocky slopes right there, ditches. And then we're gonna make our way back and we're just gonna work this 50, 100 yard stretch. I'd say like 150 yard stretch all throughout the day. Ridiculous how much bait is underneath the water. Gosh. 
That was a joke. <laughs> shallow they're like 10 to 20 feet they're trying to pick off something deep but they've been eating it really shallow along this point right here I got two guys. I got two. Oh, still got two, still got two. Double up. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. I guess you know when the A rig's on when you get two. I thought it was one big fish, but hey, I'll take two all day. <laughs> Let's go. Look at these boys. When they're stacked up like this, guys, damn. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Let's go. Wintertime fishing. Guy going. All right, one six. We'll give it a one six. Here, one six. Oh my gosh. And 194. 194, guys. Back in the water she goes. Let's go. Put that right there. crushers but it looks like we have some around 12 and a half to oh, switch back to kilograms 0.86 kilograms right there nice puppy that came on the blade bait and uh this is what i was dropping down to right there about 33 25 33 feet and I was just jigging that blade bait up and down very slowly. And uh, finally bit it. Took a while though. All right guys, I think we're gonna call it a day. So, caught one on the blade bait and then I caught a few on the Alabama rig. Just gonna wrap it up today. It was a great day on the water. Not too bad for wintertime 
fishing. And uh, I'll be sure to come out here again. And it's been a great, great, great day of fishing. Anyways, um, if you like the video, please subscribe. Be sure to check out other videos. I have a tournament playlist. Driver playlist, fun fishing playlist, and I got other playlists as well. Just hit that, let it auto play, and just enjoy. Anyways, if you like this video, like it, subscribe if you like the content, hit that alert button if you want to uh, witness my journey to professional bass fishing. And uh, that's it. Yeah, comment below. What's your favorite winter baits to get those fish to bite? Anyways, peace.